Whoa! Oh, yeah! Oh, go, yeah, come on! Oh, 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 man! Brilliant victory, Edward! Yay! Yes! Karate Bot Horton beats Karate Bot Nebulon for the 17th time in a row! Once again, making the universe safe for humanity! Hey! What about us? Oh, sorry. For inhuman species as well. Hey, that's okay. I don't really care about winning anyway. I was just playing to have fun. It's all right, Lloyd. You were playing against Eddie Horton. Actions in my blood. You don't owe us any excuses. Although you do owe me a big lord for being a big loser. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Zeptars it is. On me. Yay! What's up? Or maybe not. Goodness, Zeptars appears to be swapped with people. Maybe they're giving away free ketchup. Ketchup is always free at Zeptars. I got a feeling this is something bigger. Come on. What is it? Can you tell? No, I can't see what's going on. I can! There's a big crowd of people right in front of us! But what are they looking at? Man, oh man! Didn't you guys hear? Something went down at Zeptars. The police are there investigating. The, the police? police? Boys, follow me. Excuse, Excuse me. me. Out of my way. Wow, the dog on the rod guy was right. There's your dad talking to Zeptar. I wonder what unseemly event might have occurred here. Just leave it to me, boys. I'll find out. Yo, Dad! What's up with the crime scene? Yep, that's right. Here he comes. My dad, the cop. Hey there, son. All right, folks, move along. There's nothing to see here. On you go now. No looky loose. That's right, Dad. You tell him. That goes for you, too. This here's a crime scene. It's no place for kids. Oh, come on. Couldn't you at least tell us what happened? Well, the truth is, someone robbed all the money out of Mr. Zeptar's register. Made off with over 200 krontars. Whoa, oh, man. That's naughty. Yep, it's pretty serious. Be right there, Bork. Sorry, boys. Officer Bork and I need to wrap up Dustin for appendage prints and interviewing Mr. Zeptar. So I really would appreciate if you moseyed along. Sure thing, Dad. We understand. Come on, guys. My dad's got some thieving scum to bust. Let's not get in his way. Good luck, Officer Horton! Be careful! Let justice prevail! Thank you, boys. Man, Zeptar's robbed? That's pretty crummy. Well, it just goes to show. You should always keep your money in your stomach. Yes, Erm. Um, unfortunately, not all of us are gastrointestinally equipped for that. Well, not to worry, guys. If anyone can get that crook behind bars, my dad can. Remember a couple years ago when he busted the docking bay pickpocket? Hooray for it is dead! How did he end up catching that guy anyway? Well, you might remember. The pickpocket had been swiping people's wallets for about a week. Well, this one night, he was about to strike again. <laughs> but what he didn't know was that my dad was already on to him. There he goes, Bork. Let's move in. Freeze right there! Well, what Bork's saying is, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a galactic court of justice. And the guy's been in the slammer ever since. Yippee! What an invigorating tale! Wow, that is so cool. And that's really the way it happened? Probably. I mean, my dad didn't really tell me too much about it. He doesn't like to talk about his work around the house. Why not? I mean, any guy'd love to hear about police junk. Yeah, well, he always used to say, police work is serious work. It ain't for kids. Goodness, you're hardly a child anymore. You're a teenager. You're ready for anything. Hey, you're right. In fact, maybe I should have another talk with my dad. It's time you started letting me in on the action. Oh, son. Police work is serious work. It ain't for kids. But I'm not a kid anymore, Dad. I'm a teenager. I can watch Q-rated movies. Well, I suppose that's true. And hey, I'm getting older all the time. Heck, I've even started thinking about my future. <laughs> you? Well, sure, Mom. That's what growing young men like me do. And seeing as how I've got to be something when I grow up, what better place to look for a model than my own dad? Why, son... I don't know what to say. You really think you might be interested in police work? Of course I'm interested. Who would it be? Well, I had no idea you were quite so keen on it. All right, son, seeing as how this means so much to you, how about if you come along with Officer Bork and me on patrol tomorrow night? You mean like in your police car and everything? Sure. I'll give you a first-hand look at the war on crime. How's that sound? That sounds even way cooler than anything I was expecting. Can I bring my friends along, too? Well, we don't really have room in the car for all your friends. How about Lloyd, then? I know he'd love to go. I don't see why not. Give him a call. See if it's okay with his mom. All right! This is gonna be the best thing ever!
Well, I'll be. He really looks up to you, Frank. Yeah, I reckon Eddie and me are really connecting big time. Boys, welcome to the Intrepidville Police Station. As you know, this is my partner, Officer Bork. Bork. Hi, Officer Bork. What's the half, Borky? I'd introduce you to Officer Zucko, but he's out on an undercover assignment. Cool! Intense! Officer Bork and I will be taking you along with us tonight for a first-hand law enforcement experience. It's important that you remember you're there to observe and learn, not to fight crime. You leave that to us professionals. You got it, Dad. Yes, sir, Officer Horton. <laughs> oh, right, Bork. No one goes out on a beat unless they're properly equipped. Here you go, boys. Wear them with pride. You're with the Intrepidville Police Department now. Out of sight! This is even cooler! Looking good, troops. All right, now let's get to work before the criminals do. One officer, Khan. One officer, Khan. We have a report of a 739er in progress at the Delta Quagnas exit of the Van Allen Beltway. One officer, Khan, responding. We're on it. Looks like we got trouble already. Let's roll! <laughs> A beat-up old car parked all by itself at a rest stop in the middle of the night. That don't look too good to me. Me neither, son. Look! Who, who's that guy? I don't know, but don't you boys worry. Whoever it is, we'll take care of him. Bork, get the laser hook. <laughs> Sit tight, boys. We'll be back in a jiffy. Man, your dad's so calm about the whole thing. What can I say? He's a cool character. It runs in the family. I hope he's wearing a laser-proof vest. Maybe we can listen in over the radio. All right, Bork. Let's do this quick and clean. Oh, man. Look at that thing. He's gonna toast that guy. Here you go, ma'am. Oh, thank you so much, officer. I'm so sorry to have put you through all this trouble. That's quite all right. Although before this happens again, I recommend you join Triple Q. They'll send a tow truck out whenever you need it, and you get free maps. Oh. So let me get this straight. You guys heard some old lady locked herself out of her car, so you raced all the way out there to help her? That's right, son. Helping folks out of a jam is a big part of our job. Oh, yeah, cool. <laughs> Uh, but say, how about solving crimes and stuff? Any chance you'll be busting someone soon? Like, like, whoa! What in the zip is that? Eddie, what'd I tell you about using a Z word? Don't use that language ramp. Honk and shrackle splash! Uh, I wonder who's in that thing? Whoever it is, I say he's trouble. That's right, son. You got a good eye. Looks like we got a lawbreaker on our hands. All right! Let's pull him over. Attention unidentified space vehicle. This is the Intrepidville Police Department, requesting that you pull over immediately. Now we're getting somewhere. You think he's a pirate? Obviously, with a shipload of deadly plutonium. I repeat, pull over immediately. Ooh. Yes, what is the matter, officer? Surely I wasn't, uh, exceeding the speed limit. No, sir, you weren't speeding. However... I'm afraid your right tail light is burnt out. What? Yep. That's a real hazard to other motorists. My partner here is going to have to write you up a ticket. Curses! Another ticket? My insurance premiums will skyrocket! <laughs> Good job, son. That was a righteous bust. <laughs> yeah, righteous. Okay, so we've helped an old lady and given some guy a ticket. So, at some point, don't you do, you know, big-timey cop stuff? Oh, sure. In fact, Officer Bork and I were on our way out for some classic detective work when we got interrupted with them other things. Really? Well, where were you headed? Little place we call Intergalactic Police Headquarters. There she is right now. Well, that does look interesting. I think you boys will like it. Hang on, we're going in. Shop Intergalactic Police Headquarters? <laughs> <laughs> just a little cop humor there, son. But truth is, our police work just wouldn't be complete tonight without a visit to Zandy's Donuts. Now pay attention and see how it's done. Evening, Zandy. Hey, Officer Horton, Officer Bork. The usual tonight? Roger that, good buddy. Boys? Thanks, Officer Horton. Yeah, uh, thanks. Anytime, boys. Now, here comes the interesting part. 
So, Zandy, how's business lately? Oh, you know, business is business. Well, that's good to hear. How's Allie and the kids? They're fine. Dandy, just dandy. Say, how'd things work out with the cruller cook you had working out here? Ah, oh, that guy? He was all right. Jimmy was his name, right? Yeah, Jimmy. Cooked a good cruller. Didn't last too long, though. Had to let him go. Found out he was skipping on the glaze. Was coming out runny, you know, and that's no good. This oh, is the interesting part. At least we got free drive. donuts. Yeah, I pride myself mm, on my glaze. Maple. Oh. All right, boys. Once we finish cruising the sector in the squad car, we always come back here and walk the station. Check in with the local citizens. We usually start off down here on Shopkeeper Alley. Wait a minute, Dad. Just so I understand what the deal is. Are you meaning to tell me that you're going to go around for the rest of the night talking to people? That's right, son. Hey there, Vu. Having an uneventful evening? Yes, Officer Horton. Very uneventful indeed. It's good to hear. Oh, Officer Horton. Officer Bork. Could you men come over here for a moment? I'd like to chat with you about keys. Keys? Now that sounds interesting. Come on, boys. Lloyd. Hey, man, I am really, really sorry I got you into this. What do you mean? I didn't know this was going to be so lame. I thought my dad would be chasing guys around and putting handcuffs on them and throwing them in jail. I guess tonight has been a little different from when he busted the docking bay pickpocket. Yeah, about that. I sort of made up a lot of those details. I had no idea they were so far from the truth. Thanks, Lola. That was interesting. Guess we better head on up to level 14. Hey, now where are the boys? They're not going to want to miss that. I mean, to be honest with you, Lloyd, I'm kind of embarrassed. My dad isn't cool at all. He's boring. That's probably the reason he never talks about his work at home. It's because he's ashamed of how lame it is. I was expecting tonight to be exciting. Man, it's one of the most disappointing nights of my life. <clears throat> hey there, boys. Oh, hi, Dad. Say, uh, Officer Bork and I were about to head up to level 14 to check something out. We thought maybe you boys would like to come with us. Level 14, huh? What's up there? Ah, uh, it's a restricted area. Used for, uh... Storage. Oh. Uh, say, Dad, you know what? Lord and I were just talking about how late it was getting. Thanks for showing us around and all, but we were thinking maybe we should just go get some big lorps, then head home. I see. Uh, you need my hat back? No, son. No, you keep it, if you like. Okay. Well, see ya. And thanks. Come on, Lloyd. Thanks for everything, Officer Wharton. You're welcome, Lloyd. <sighs> no, Bork. We're on our own. Seems my boy don't want to be with me no more. Great. Just great. That was supposed to be the most exciting night of our lives, and it turned out to be the boringest thing ever. Well, like I say, we did get free donuts. And hey, we got to ride in a cop car while the siren was on. Oh, boy. Come on. This time, Big Lorbs are on me. Hey, you boys. What can I get for you? <sighs> Two Big Lorbs, please, Mr. Zeptar. What's the matter there, Eddie? You seem kind of down in the dumps. Uh, I'm just depressed about stuff is all. Well, look on the bright side, kid. At least nobody's robbing you. Oh, yeah. Forgot all about you getting robbed yesterday. Did they catch the guy who did it? Uh, not yet. But, uh, I ain't worried. Yeah, because I know that Intrepidville's finest are paying extra close attention to my case. Hey, Zeptar! I'm, like, sitting here and I'm so totally thirsty! Oh, yeah, uh, sorry, boys. I gotta go outside and help some other customers. Enjoy your drinks. Oh man. Did you hear that, Lloyd? What? How sarcastic he was talking about Intrepidville's finest. Did you see how he winked at us? Man, even he thinks my dad is lame. Not like I can blame him. Oh, come on, Eddie. Maybe he didn't mean it that way at all. How could he mean it any other way, Lloyd? He's missing 200 Krontars, and all my daddy's doing is buying donuts and gossiping. Heck, if I was a cop, I'd be in here casing the joint. Well, maybe he'll do that when he's done walking his beat. By that time, the trail will be stone cold. Sheesh. My dad ought to watch more TV. Then he'd know how it's done. Like, for instance, he comes in here yesterday and questions Zeptar. Bork dust for prints. But, hey! I didn't see anyone popping open the air vent to see if the crook was hiding inside. Oops. And look here! Did anyone check if they hid the money in this straw dispenser? Uh... No, they did not! And... Hey! Did you see anyone ransack the trash to see if any valuable clues were carelessly discarded inside... Whoa! Wait one minute! What is it? Oh, nothing but an extremely valuable clue! Just looks like some glove to me! Oh, contraire, my detective friend! This is not just some glove! Think about it! Who wears gloves? Surgeons? Criminals, Lloyd! Criminals! Now I'm really embarrassed. How could my dad have overlooked such an obvious clue? Hey! You kids! What do you think you're doing? Give me that! You got no business snooping around here! Sorry, sir. Ah, just great. So much for hiding out. 
That was weird. Suspiciously weird. I've never seen that guy working at Zeptars. Have you? No. Lloyd, my friend, we've stumbled onto something big. A stranger hiding out in Zeptar's kitchen doesn't want anyone finding that glove in the trash. Mad because we exposed him. There's only one explanation. He is the Zeptar's bandit. Come on. Where? Somebody around here has got to act like cops. Let's get him. Ew, this is like so not what I ordered. Mr. Zeptar, Mr. Zeptar, did you see that guy? The cook from your kitchen. He just sneaked out. Uh, hey, shh, quiet down already. I don't know what you're talking about. Just as I suspected. Come on, Lloyd. Hey, guys. What is it? Did I hear you yell that you were looking for a guy who just sneaked out of Zeptar's? That's right. Well, look. He's over there. You're right. And look at him. He's calling someone on his phone. Who do you think he's talking to? He's probably making some kind of getaway arrangements with his crime boss. That guy's a criminal? The Zeptar's bandit. Yikes. Somebody stop him. Don't worry, dog on a rod guy. I've got it under control. Come on, Lloyd. Oh, no. Everything's gone wrong. I gotta run. Get to the cutoff point as fast as you can. Ah! You're under arrest, creep, for being the Zeptar's bandit. Ah, oh, you idiots. I'm not the Zeptar's bandit. He is. <laughs> Oops. Yikes. All right, Jimmy, your number's up. You're under arrest for the robbery of Zeptar's and the dog on the rod stand. <laughs> Good job, Bork. I'm sure that cash will add up to the day's receipts. It was the perfect crime. I almost got away with it, too, thanks to those meddling kids. Uh, hi, Dad. Edward, Lloyd, Bork, kindly take this gentleman and read him his rights. <laughs> <clears throat> so, playing a little cops and robbers, were you boys? I'm sorry, Officer Horton. We didn't mean to mess things up. Yeah, we were just trying to help. I told you, Eddie, law enforcement is a very serious business. That suspect almost escaped. From now on, please, stay out of the way and let us do our job. But, Dad, you weren't doing your job. I mean, I hung out with you for most of the night tonight, and all you did was mosey around and talk to people. Son, now I know it ain't all that flashy, but moseying and talking is doing my job. Like at the donut shop. Well, heck, I thought you were paying attention. Zandy and I were chatting about business. Turns out he was having trouble with this one employee, Jimmy. Yeah, Jimmy. Cooked a good crawler. Didn't last too long, though. Had to let him go. Found out he was skipping on the glaze. Was coming out I running, suspected you know, this Jimmy character was mixing the glaze weak and selling the extra sugar on the black market. Then, back on the station, Lola the locksmith had some very interesting information about keys. A young man fitting the description of this Jimmy you mentioned. He came by for a key just like this one. A key, interestingly enough, which fit the register at Zeptar's. Then Officer Bork and I went up to the level 14 storage unit, and we discovered a Zeptar's uniform was missing. And another uniform from Dog on a Rod. Piece it all together and it's clear that this Jimmy character, who had a history of stealing, obtained a key to Zeptar's register, swiped a uniform so he could sneak in unnoticed, then stole Mr. Zeptar's money. We suspected he was going to strike again at Dog on a Rod. Mr. Dog's on vacation and that stand's not even supposed to be open. So Jimmy's been selling off the food and just waiting for the register to fill with cash. Whoa! Dad, that is so cool! You figured all that out? Sure, son. It's what I do. But if that guy you arrested was that Jimmy guy, then who's this guy right here? Boys, I'd like you to meet Officer Zucko. He's been working undercover at Zeptar's ever since the robbery. I put him on the case to keep an eye on Jimmy in the food court. But what about the glove we found? Zucko here was trying to hide it. Ugh, that wasn't a glove. My species sheds its skin every two hours. It's embarrassing. It's worse than dandruff. Sorry I asked. Yeah, well, while I was in the dining room talking to you boys, Jimmy spotted me. Then when you tried tackling me outside, he cleaned out the register and made a run for it. Good thing I called in your dad here to intercept him. He would have gotten away for sure. Well done, Zucko. Hey, why don't you go down and tell Zeptar the good news? Ah, it's a big tent for us, son. Hey, uh, Dad? About the ride-along earlier tonight? It's okay, son. I understand. Real-life police work isn't always as exciting as people expect it to be. Well, I got a big old boring report to fill out. Why don't you boys run along and have some fun? I'll see you back home later. I was just gonna tell him I was wrong about what I was thinking. He really is a pretty great cop after all. I shouldn't have been so disappointed. I never was all that disappointed. 
I mean, sure, we never got to crash into anything or blow anything up, but all I could think about the whole time was how cool it must be just to hang out with your dad. And all those things that make a good cop, spending time with people, talking to them, well, I bet those things must make for a pretty good dad, too. Lloyd, don't take this the wrong way. But the thing is, right now, I don't feel much like going off with my friends and having fun. For some reason, I really just want to go watch some boring reports get filled out. Go ahead, Eddie. I understand.